Hello and welcome to another episode of Bristol Community Cooking, a show created by Bristol Community College where you will get introduced to a restaurant in the South Coast region. We'll meet the owner and the chef of the restaurant, learn their background and the story behind their entrepreneurial journey. The show also features a cooking demonstration of a signature dish of the featured restaurant in collaboration with a Bristol culinary arts student. My name is Chef Esteban Martinez. I am the chair of the culinary arts program at Bristol Community College. It is one of the oldest culinary arts programs in Massachusetts, and we offer associate degrees and short-term certificate programs in culinary arts and baking and pastry. In today's episode of Bristol Community Cooking, we are featuring the Origin Bar and Grill located on 159 South Main Street in Fort River. It opened in March 2023 and has very quickly established a very loyal clientele. The restaurant features Latin American cuisine that has certainly added some diversity to the city's food scene. We are joined by Maria Verde Soto, the owner of Origin Bar and Grill and culinary student Tyler Neto. Welcome Maria and thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. So Maria, as I understand you were first a stay-at-home mom and then you decided to open a restaurant? Yes. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yes. So I was a stay-at-home mom for a long time. And one of my favorite hobbies was Food Network, watching TV shows, you name it, all of them. And then I went back to work and I started in the food industry mm -hmm. where it just ignited my passion for sharing all of this flavor with my community and my dreams of having this unique place were created. So the restaurant you open is Origin. Can you talk a little bit about the cuisine of Origin and you, uniqueness to it? Yeah, so Origin is a Latin American cuisine. So we are featuring signature dishes from different Latin American countries. Great. So you said the restaurant serves Latin American cuisine from different Latin American countries. How do you define what is Latin American cuisine? So for me, Latin American cuisine is utilizing and making these dishes with the most common ingredients found in mm. Latin American yeah, countries. Yeah. yeah, and that Latin American cuisine is just a cooking style. We all have the same ingredients yeah. and we're just like the flavors that define us. Ingredients such as plantains, Plantain, rice and beans. corn, yep. yes. Yes, the different varieties of corn <laughs> and corn skin, yeah. Excellent, so what are we making today? So today we're gonna be, be making a ceviche peruano yeah. and also a chaula fan. Delicious. Yes. We'll start cooking right after the short break. Are you ready to turn your passion for food into a fulfilling career? Look no further than Bristol Community College's culinary arts and baking and pastry programs. From food preparation to front of house, we prepare you for a range of positions in the dynamic world of food service, pastry arts, and hospitality. Your journey to a flavorful future begins at Bristol. Enroll today. Visit bristolcc.edu or contact Esteban Martinez for more information. Welcome back. And Maria, I'm looking forward to see the finished dish. In the meantime, yes. I'll leave you with Tyler. All right, thank you. Good. All right, so we're going to be making a ceviche what? today. All right, All right Tyler? sounds good. All right. So first of all, I already have the fish marinated. You can say that it's been cured already with the lime and lemon juice and you need to put some salt. So that's actually gonna cook the fish. And we need to keep it um, in, in the fridge. Remember, it's still a raw meat. Any oh, questions, Tyler? So far now. All right. So I'm just gonna leave it to you, my friend, and go ahead. I'm just gonna scoop out the fish that it's been already marinated. You can just like leave it for like 30 to 40 minutes. It's the, a, a safe bet, I will say. Now is this good or a little more? I mean, it depends on the portions. At the origin, we leave it, we put a little bit more. We serve oh. a little bit more. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna top it with leche de tigre, which actually it's the juice of the fish that's been marinated with some uh, um, veggies. So we had scallions, garlic, onions, and the very unique peppers from Peru, as ají rocoto and ají amarillo. So, mm -hmm. yeah. 
So Tyler already blended this for us. Yeah. Uh, with the veggies that was that were inside. Of course, we took out the rocoto and the ají amarillo, otherwise it's gonna change the color of it. So yeah, go ahead, Tyler. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're just gonna need a little spoon just to move it around so everything is incorporated, all the flavors go in there. Yep, exactly like that. Mm -hmm. And now we're just gonna do the toppings, which is red onion, just on top. Okay. And now, uh, does the quantity um, matter at this point? Uh, yes, because you don't wanna just like serve a ceviche with a little bit of onions, but you don't wanna overdo it. Okay. Yeah, I think that's beautiful Good. and that's right. perfect. Yeah. We're just gonna do a little bit of diced tomatoes on top of it as well, yeah. Mm hmm That looks so pretty, Tyler. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And now we're just going to do a little bit of decoration. I remember you always need to put on the plate something that you can eat. So we're just going to cut the, yeah, the lettuce. Mm hmm And use the pretty little leaves on top. And this is very important for the ceviche. We need to have corn. Chifles, which are fried green plantains, maiz cancha or tos tostado, and uh, red sweet potato. So go ahead, Tyler, just put a little okay. bit of, yep. So just like here, so, it's, uh, so the lettuce is kind of like a bed for the yes. Uh, vegetables. Yes, right. it just like makes it prettier, stand out. And then we're just gonna put like the corn like around, uh-huh, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I'm gonna help you with the chifles. Okay, like this. Now we're just gonna put a little bit more corn in there. Yeah. A little bit more. Mm hmm. So every corner of the plate, you get a mouthful. Yes, exactly. Right. Yes. And we're gonna add the cilantro now, if you don't mind just chopping it a little bit yes. on the side and to also top it. So would you like it to chop finely yeah, or very medium fine. course? Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Get a little more. And you can use the stems as well. Stems as well? Yeah. Okay. It gives a very nice flavor. So it's all set, okay. Yeah, on top of it. Yeah, that looks pretty. And it, like I, I mentioned before, it's already marinated in lime and lemon juice, but sometimes people want more lime or lemon, so just mm -hmm. have a little slices and put it on the side. Mm -hmm. Oh, and we're forgetting about a very important ingredient, the sweet potato. Just a pop of color. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Okay, just like do a half in here. There you go. And we're just gonna add it in here. All right. And that's the finished plate. Right. Looks good. Delicious. Thank you, Tyler. You're welcome. Tyler, so now we're going to be making chaulafan. It's a okay. very special dish for origen. And we're going to start with chopping some of the, veg of the veggies that we have in here. And we're going to do a julienne cut. You want to help okay. me with that? Sure, yes. All right. Okay. 
So now, so now for Julian, it um, doesn't matter um, the thickness of it? They need to be in the thinner side. Okay. So kind of like this? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me just cut this over. Okay. Yeah, those are very pretty. There you go. And then also going to work with red pepper and white onion. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I'll just take this out. Now, could we use a, a yellow onion if we wanted to, besides uh, the red and green? It's up to you, but it's actually the, the traditional way to make it is just with red, green, okay. and, and, and the white onion. We don't see many orange or yellow peppers in Ecuador. Oh. So, so just like that? Yeah, that's perfect. And also a little bit of that white onion. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, now let's move with the meats. Okay. We're going to start with a chorizo, which is a Mexican chorizo. Okay. Mm-hmm. So just, just slice. Yeah, just a slice. Then. And and now how thick or thin would uh would you like the cut? Also on the thinner side. Thinner? Remember yeah. like we need to get a good bite size in all of yeah, those are perfect. Mm hmm Okay, just like that. Yeah, just like that. Okay. You want me to keep the whole thing? Yes. Do the whole thing? Yes, we can do the whole thing. All of our servings are massive at origin, so, <laughs> you know, yeah. You're not going to be hungry. Now, is there any other meat that we can use besides the chorizo? Yeah, I guess it? you can try with pork, very thinly sliced pork. And chicken and shrimp, they are a staple. But you can like, just mix and match any type of other okay i will say like you, you can go, even go with charise is this give good? it a nice yeah that's perfect okay all right so now we're gonna do the shrimp we're just gonna keep the shrimp whole and just pull off the tails mm -hmm. make sure they are clean and deveined mm -hmm. they are there you are. okay mm -hmm. and now how many typically would you put on the on plate? a plate yeah. about seven Oh, seven? Okay. Yes. It also depends on the size of the shrimp. Okay, here we go. Seven. Yep. Yeah. And then we're going to work with the chicken that has been already marinated at the house. our casita and now what is the ingredients that you used for the chicken it's basic ingredients cilantro parsley um, garlic onion and sazon okay and you uh, would you like it cut into cube size yes please okay. bite size mm -hmm. Just like that? Bite yes. Yeah, we're going to need more chicken. There you go. Mm -hmm. So which cut of the chicken uh, do we usually use for this type of uh, dish? Breast. The chicken breast? Yes. Okay. All right. All right. Now, mm -hmm. after we're done, for toppings we have uh, sweet plantain. It's going to be fried. 
and also an avocado. All right then, Tyler, let's start right. cooking. You want to okay. come this way? Sure. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So let's start with a little bit of oil in the wok. This is how we usually make it. Mm-hmm. Just like this? Yeah, or just like that. Okay. No, that's fine. And we're going to start with a chicken. Yes. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Okay. Now, I'm just going to show you one. You just move it around. So kind of like sauteing it. Yes. Okay, yes, okay. exactly. There you go, Tyler. Yes. I'm just going to get a nice golden color in there. Now don't you worry. When you're just moving it around, it's going to get all cooked. So, just gonna add it in there. Yeah, we're just gonna leave it there and cook. And we're gonna add the veggies. Okay. Remember, white onion, green and red peppers. Smells good already. Right? Are we cooking these vegetables? Probably, so? I will say as safe, but it will be five to six minutes. Mm -hmm. So we don't want them to be completely cooked. We want them to be al dente. Okay. So, you know, crunchy enough, but cooked. So a little bites. Yes. Okay. like using the wok for this special dish yeah because as you can see it just like moves around and it's giving like nice even cooking mm -hmm. all right so now we're gonna add the shrimp more time to cook. So just like that, yeah. let it cook. Mm -hmm. And after probably one or two more minutes, we're going to add the rice that's been already cooked. White rice works the best for this. White rice, okay. Yes. Jasmine, as you can smell. Jasmine, yes. Yeah. <laughs> What does this look like to you? Almost like a stir fry. Like a stir fry, Almost right? Like a stir fry. Because yeah. actually, yeah, it's a nice story behind this dish. Actually, when the Asian people started going to Ecuador, they brought all their culture and all their food with them. Really? Yes. So they started looking around and see what they could use to bring their own food. And this is how Chao La Fan came out. Oh, wow. These are like very popular in the Chifa restaurants, Chifa cuisine. Mm -hmm. 
I would say that even it's a culture, it's a chief culture. Latin American dishes with Asian fusions. Asian twist. Asian twist, yes. So now we're gonna add the white rice. Now you're gonna work those big arm of yours. There you go. Mm -hmm. Move it around. And behind you come, Tyler. We're gonna add our secret ingredients. Not just kidding. It's just soy <laughs> sauce. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now make sure you get into those. Yeah, huh? No one wants a big lump of rice. Exactly. So. Yeah, especially with all that pretty color. You see? And we're gonna add this thick soy sauce. Just like that. That's gonna give it like the very nice color that we're gonna be looking for. Mm -hmm. Now, work it, Tyler. Work it. There you go. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's very pretty. So, how come the thick soy sauce and not the thin one that we usually use? I feel like the thin one just gives it a like not this deep rich color mm -hmm. i just feel like it's like kind of i don't know like uh, nice. like not this color <laughs> not this color and i also feel like that's like very salty even though i have used the low sodium ones yes it's still very salty and like i already said like you know the chicken is already marinated because it just gives a gives it a, a, a better flavor and also let me use play with my seasoning at the end Mm -hmm. which I'm going to add right now. That is just like basically seasoning that we make at Origin. Just uh, salt, pepper, paprika, garlic powder, onion powder, cumin. Mm -hmm. Now, could you use any other spices besides those? I feel like you could. You can just always try and play with them. See what you like, see what you don't like. Mm -hmm. You can also add an egg, you know, scramble egg around, and also green peas. And I think we're all set, Tyler. All right, looks yeah. great. Mm -hmm. Let's plate this beauty. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Now, do you want me to fill the whole plate? Yes. Generous portions. Sounds like an origin. Okay. All right, let me use that. Yeah. I'm just going to make it look prettier. Oh, you did amazing, Tyler. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I'll be coming here more often if I keep getting these big portions. Yep. Okay, we're going to make sure that all the beautiful ingredients are showing. Mm -hmm. So you get a little bit of chicken, chorizo, peppers, beautiful colors. All right. Okay. We're going to clean the plate a little bit. Doesn't it smell good? Very good. Yeah. Now we're going to just like top a little bit of cilantro. Just for that vibrant color. Green one. There you go. Mm -hmm. okay. And one of the toppings are going to be fried sweet plantains. Okay. And then we're just going to add them the side so the contrast of the sweetness with the saltiness of the plate it's really mm -hmm. good and we're gonna be doing also some avocado have you ever done an avocado before Tyler cut an, an avocado before I cut it I know you, uh, uh, you'll go all around and yes. you twist then uh, with a knife you kind of jab in the uh, seed to get it out yes so we're lucky enough to find good avocados they are not in season right now, so we're struggling with them. And then we're just like pulling them out. Oh, 
going to kind of add a little bit. All right, friends. And that's all. That's a beautiful and delicious and spread as you can get. Looks delicious. Looks delicious. Thank you, Tyler. Yeah, thank you. Wow, Maria, this looks amazing. Are Thank these you. two signature dishes at your restaurant? They are. They are very popular. People they are on the them. menu right now? They are on the menu right now, <laughs> yes. So I understand you and your husband are from Ecuador. Yes. Your business partner is from Honduras. Yes. So what was the approach of when building the restaurant? Yeah, like, uh, like, like I mentioned before, we were just like trying to get the signature dishes and the popular names from different countries so people feel like they can get a little bit of everything right. in our menu, yes. And what are the future plans for the restaurant moving forward? So just keep growing, keep sharing all these flavors and all these novelties with my community and just hoping that people like us. Amazing. Well, Maria, thank you for being a featured restaurant in this episode and we wish you all the very best thank and you. a successful journey ahead. Thank you. By supporting a small business like Origin Bar and Grill, you're also supporting the local community. Small businesses owners like Maria love what they do and they play an important role in supporting their local communities. When it comes to showing your support for small businesses, it's important to do so and not just to help them gain revenue and stay operational. So I would like highly encourage all of you to go and visit Origin and experience the fabulous food and service they offer at the restaurant. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned as we will bring another South Coast restaurant on the next episode of Bristol Community Cooking. Until then, bon appétit.